What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Waggy2709 here, back again with the sixth installment of the Assassin's Creed, the official collection magazine. Um, and we'll get straight into looking at the magazine. This is the magazine, guys, as you can see. It's Creed number six. It says American Revolutionaries, the Brotherhood and the War of Independence, bound by blood, the injustice that fuels Rantonkin. Yeah. And the next pen cometh Connor's tool of the trade. Inside the issue number two, your I'm gonna call it Con, okay, because I cannot pronounce that. So your Connor figurine, four character profile, six friends and enemies, ten fights and feuds, twelve environments, fourteen weaponry and equipment. So, Connor figurine, beaded armbands, reference to his traditional Native American beadwork, retractable blades, obviously his typical hidden blades, and then assassin's robes, uh, which saying it was given to him by Achilles Davenport, mentor of the Colonial Brotherhood. Right, character profile, freedom fighter. Devoted to justice, Connor fought with the Continental Forces to ensure that all men and women, regardless of race or class, would be equal and free. Ally, ally of the Patriot Forces, thanks to his strong sense of moral justice, Connor aligned with the goals of the Continental Army that fought to be free of British rule. His assassin skills served them well, enabling Connor to infiltrate forts, assassinate key figures, and gather information. When the Patriot leaders later began making decisions he found questionable, Connor dis disengaged from them, choosing instead to work alone. And turning the tide, th through his efforts during the war, Connor and his new assassin recruits successfully broke the hold that the Templar Order had over the col colonies. However, even as the British forces left the newly freed nation, slavery was already taking its place as the next threat to individual freedom. Returning to his village, Connor then discovered that his people had moved on because the new government had sold the land to settlers, making his efforts to ensure freedom for all people to coexist seem hollow. Friends and enemies bound by belief. Ken... Kenitio? I don't know. <laughs> um, once she learned the Templar Hatham's allegiance lay with the Templar Order, she broke ties with him and never saw him again, although her village condemned her relationship with Hatham and sought to punish her, bearing his child. The clan mother decreed that cousin would be allowed to stay in the village to deliver her baby. Humanity then agreed to accept the child despite his father's identity. Kento Con. When Connor left his vision quest, his best friend remained to defend the village. Later, came to the De Devonport homestead to inform Connor that the Iroquois Confederation had given permission to the British to purchase their land and relocate their people. Lafayette. Washington. Or just George Washington. Aveline de Grand Prix. Achilles. Conflicts of interest. Haytham Kenway, which is son of the famous assassin Edward Kenway, the Haytham, was raised as a Templar by his adoptive father. Reginald Birch, he came to the colonies in 1754 to locate a precursor vault and open it with a precursor key. Charles Lee, vengeful, aggressive, arrogant, Charles Lee, um, ambition and greed worked against his history of military experience. I found some fights. Unwitting revolutionary. While fighting to bring an end to Templar rule, Connor found himself at the centre of one of the most iconic events. 
fights and feuds unwitting revolutionary while fighting to bring an end to Templar rule, Connor found himself at the center of one of the most iconic events in American history, the Boston Tea Party, the spark that ignited America's war of independence. And it's talking about there the Boston Tea Party, an assassin Templar alliance, and the Grand Temple Key. On to environments, talking about American beauty. In different locations, the American Frontier, Davenport Homestead, Mohawk Valley, Boston and New York. And talking about weaponry and equipment, prepare for battle, the War Club, the Tomahawk, the Aquila. Than the bow. Then going to the next issue, issue seven, Shea Cormac. So that's it for the magazine, guys, and I will quickly get to the figuring in so we can have a look at that. So here is Connor's figurine. I will just quickly slip it out. Series up close and personal. It is actually a bit of string, which is quite nice of them for the bow. That forces his tomahawk. It's just a general look at Connor himself. With his traditional name down the bottom. And then one more time all the way around. So that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be back in the next few days with the next episode. And I shall see you guys then. Adios.